Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and welcome to this Gigapixel review. Now, it is fair to say that Gigapixel 7 got to a rather rough start. Specifically, it was missing some of the key features of Gigapixel AI, yet appeared to be no better at upscaling and perhaps ever so slightly slower than its predecessor. But today, we are now on Gigapixel 7.1.1 and how things have changed. It is faster. We now have our four-way comparison view back where it belongs, and it is perhaps the best version of the best upscaler that I have tested. So this means that Gigapixel 7 has now slammed the door on pretty much all of its rifles, making it the best standalone AI upscaler you can buy, almost. So in this Gigapixel review, we are going to look at Gigapixel, its feature set, the image quality of its upscales, and of course, its competition, namely, how does Gigapixel fare against Lightroom Super Resolution, On One Resize AI, and Gigapixel's own stablemate, Topaz Photo AI. Let's get going. So for those of you unaware, Gigapixel is an AI upscaler designed to enlarge your photos by up to 600%. Now, unlike regular resizing applications, which sort of mindlessly turn one pixel into many, Gigapixel assesses your image, reads the detail and interpolates new detail throughout the enlargement process. Now this gives us a sort of situation whereby our enlarged image can actually look better, more sharper and detailed than the smaller original it was best. Now if that sounds like your cup of tea, Gigapixel 7 is well worth a look. So using Gigapixel is very straightforward indeed. As always, you begin by opening your photo and next you choose how much you want to enlarge your image. This can be done simply by selecting one of the multipliers, so times two, times four, times six, or you can specify the exact height and width of your image. Next, we choose the AI model. Now, Gigapixel 7 has a few new AI models to choose from, and which of the AI models is best depends on the nature of your image. So, for example, your image might be quite high fidelity and high resolution and noise-free, or you might be working with an image that's slightly degraded, low resolution, poorly focused, or noisy. And choosing between these different AI models is going to vastly change the quality of your result. Now you can go through your AI models separately. You can leave Gigapixel in its automatic mode, in which case it will choose which AI model it thinks is best. Or you can use the useful four-way comparison view, which enables you to view the effects of four different AI models simultaneously. Next, we can dial in various different settings within the AI model. So typically we have a de-blur tool, which effectively brings back detail and a simple de-noising tool. Now, once we've got an image that we like the look of, the last job for us to do is export the image. Now you can export to all the usual file formats. So we have JPEG, PNG and TIFF. And of course, you can sort of select the amount of compression for each. Hit save and your image is ready. So is Gigapixel any good? Well, to find out, I went to my usual slab of four test photos. Now, just to explain how I test AI upscalers, I begin with a full-size reference image, which I then copy. I then shrink the copy by fourfold, so it's now 25% its original size. I then restore that small copy by upscaling it by 400%. And now I can compare the upscaled copy with the original reference image to see just how fearful the upscale is to the original image. So let's begin with this picture of a first seal. Now we can see here that the original image was a little bit grainy, a little bit noisy, and Gigapixel has done a remarkably fearful job of upscaling the image. Not only is the image more detailed and true and authentic to the original, but it's also cleaner and more sharper. In other words, the image upscaled in Gigapixel actually looks better than the smaller original upon which it's based. So now let's visit one of the more challenging photos. This image of a lighthouse gives most AI upscalers absolute fits. And in fact, only Gigapixel and Topaz Photo AI have ever been able to produce anything resembling a usable image. 
Now, when we look as close as this, which is a 100% crop view of the image, you will notice certain things are missing, particularly we can see the fence around the lighthouse has less detail than the original. But when viewed at a normal distance, the image actually looks very good indeed. And as you will find out later in this Google Pixel review, this result is head and shoulders above the competition. So let's have a look at portraits. Can Gigapixel upscale a portrait and retain natural looking features and skin tones? And the answer is yes. In fact, I will say that Gigapixel is the best AI upscalers for upscaling portraits. And as you'll see again later in this review, this result is vastly superior to the types of results you will get either in on one resize or Lightroom super resolution. And our final sample is this picture of a bird. Now I like this image because it is a noisy image. The image quality isn't particularly great. And it's good to see that Gigapixel is able to upscale image fearfully, make that detail really pop and clean up much of the noise as it goes. So what are the best alternatives to Gigapixel? Well, let's start with On One Resize. Now On One Resize is an AI upscaler from On One and quite frankly, it is soundly beaten by Gigapixel across all four of my test images. Now On One Resize in its element can actually work very well. It is also very fast and includes some nice print friendly features such as paper printer specific presets and a nice little canvas wrap tool. But in terms of pure upscaling performance, it is well beaten by Gigapixel. We can see it very clear as we sort of go through our lighthouse scene and also our portrait. Quite frankly, On One Resize lacks the nuance of Gigapixel and its images tend to look over-processed in comparison. So how does Gigapixel compare against Lightroom Super Resolution? Well, once again, Gigapixel handily outperforms Super Resolution by some margin. Now, Super Resolution is a bargain when considered a small part of your overall Lightroom subscription. However, it does have some limitations. For example, you are limited to 200% upscales unless you're willing to endure a simple yet clumsy workaround. Next, you don't really have much control over the results. So we can't adjust noise, we can't adjust different AI models. We simply get what we are given. Now, for the most part, Super Resolution actually produces top tier results. But by top tier, I actually really mean second top tier because Gigapixel outperforms it most of the time. Looking at this image of the lighthouse, you can see that Gigapixel is leagues ahead of Super Resolution. And likewise, while Super Resolution does a very good job of this portrait, if you can look closely, you will notice that its best effort is somewhat pixelated and posturized while the Gigapixel version is looking very clean and natural. So that brings us on to our final comparison. How does Gigapixel compete with Topaz Photo AI? Now, this isn't necessarily a straightforward comparison. For one, at 199 US dollars, Topaz Photo AI cost twice as much as the $99 that you will pay for Gigapixel. It also does an awful lot more. So for example, both are excellent, equally excellent upscalers, but Topaz Photo AI also denoises to a very high standard and also has the best in the game sharpening that is so good that it can actual correct motion blur and poorly focused images. So that means two things. First of all, Topaz Photo AI is more likely to be useful more often by virtue that it simply does more. But it also means means that you can combine each of Topaz Photos AI's talents to pull out results that Gigapixel or indeed any other standalone AI upscaler cannot hope to match. So in terms of upscaling a high quality image, Gigapixel and Topaz Photo AI will produce similarly excellent results and you will be entirely happy with either. However, if you are dealing with a noise ridden image or an image that's slightly poorly focused or blurred, Gigapixel can't do much with that. It will reliably upscale the detail, the blur and the noise, whereas Topaz Photo AI can fix all of that as well. Therefore, if you are a fair weather upscaler, mostly upscaling good quality images, there's really not much point in buying Topaz Photo AI and you will be glad to have saved your money and buy Gigapixel instead. 
But if you are looking for the best AI upscaler for all image conditions, Topaz Photo AI is the way to go. So to conclude, Gigapixel is the best standalone AI upscaler I have tested yet. Its interface is attractive and concise. It's fast to use. And as we've seen from the samples, it reliably produces the best possible upscales. Thus, if you are looking for upscaling and nothing but upscaling, you really aren't looking for Gigapixel. But Gigapixel is not without rival. Topaz Photo AI may cost twice as much, but it also does an awful lot more. Specifically, we can use Topaz Photo AI to upscale an image, to denoise an image, or to sharpen and correct polyfocus or motion blurred photos. Better still, we can actually combine those different features and apply them to the same photograph simultaneously. So while Topaz Photo AI and Gigapixel are equally effective at upscaling good quality images, Topaz Photo AI is in a class of its own when it comes to upscaling noise ridden or slightly unsharp images. So if you are looking for an upscaler that can handle good quality and poor quality images, Topaz Photo AI is the way to go. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about Gigapixel, be sure to stop by my review at Silent Peak for more comparisons and image samples. And if you would like to try Gigapixel for yourself, you can, and there is a link to your free trial in the description below. I hope you found this useful. My name's Richard from Silent Peak. Wish you a good day. Bye-bye.